Hey, what's up everyone? Andy here from Crusty Plug and thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, it's Sunday, 8th of September today and uh, it's been a little bit of a slow day for me, uh, but in between L everything else I've been doing, I've been kind of thinking and contemplating uh, about my YouTube channel and so it happens that the videos so far I've been uploading i uh, been probably on the long side and um, they've been all kind of about half an hour, give or take, uh, in, in, in running time. And I kind of been thinking about that aspect and I think that's probably a little bit um, on a, a little bit on the long side for some people. I know I, know, I certainly know from my personal experience that you know if, if I um, see any channels that I follow uh, load up any videos and if they are you know half an hour, 40, 50 minutes long or even some of them are hour and plus. Um, I straight away start asking myself whether 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 or not I actually uh, have that time uh, to devote to watch a video on YouTube for you know half an hour, forty minutes, or even longer. And um, so it happens that up till this point, uh, the way I've been doing is that I've been kind of amassing the stuff, you know, buying games, collecting games, uh, trading games, and then once I um, got a pile of games basically <laughs> piled up um, I kind of make a video and, and share that with you guys and so it, ha so it happens that you know there's a lot of stuff to show and the video kind of becomes long uh, but I thought maybe what I should really do is uh, do uh, my videos or make my videos more often so maybe do them every couple of days every three days depends on you know how many trades I got and uh, then in that way uh, maybe show you less per video um, but then make these videos a little bit more manageable where you know the video might be only like 15 minutes long or 20 minutes long rather than half an hour uh, and yeah that, that's kind of my, uh, my my plan going forward maybe to just try to do these videos more often but ultimately make them a little bit shorter and maybe a bit more manageable and that's the kind of idea here today actually um, despite it was a bit slow day I went out and managed to get a few a few things here and there to, uh, buy a couple uh, films and games um, in, in town and uh, that's ultimately the plan here just to kind of to go through the stuff and show you and, and hopefully make this video rather short uh, now um, I got up quite early this morning and I went to the local car boot sale but in all fairness it was pretty much a waste of time um, there weren't you know that many people trading today and also uh, of all the people that were there I uh, pretty much nobody had any games to to sell apart from one gentleman who is pretty much regular there as far as I know because I've seen him a few times before um, I went uh, to local car boot sales and uh, he had some games and I picked them through and um, there weren't that great games, that many games, but uh, I still picked out probably about like 12 games or so. And uh, some of them were actually sports games and I thought, well, they were, you know, uh, in good condition. I might see if he's, you know, going to do a reasonable offer. So anyway, he was ultimately asking for uh, silly money and I said, there's no way I'm paying that money. So he asked me to make him a counter offer. I made my counter offer but he wasn't happy with that either and uh, we kind of ended up in a deadlock that you know he wanted too much um, uh, as far as I was concerning uh, concerned sorry and I was offering too little as far as he was concerned so uh, we couldn't agree to a deal and then I was kind of pretty much going to leave uh, empty handed completely uh, but then I decided to take three games and make an offer on three games uh, and he accepted my offer on three games so I was you know ultimately not ecstatic but fairly happy I managed to get something you know and it wasn't complete waste um, per se so uh, then I came back home uh, done some things around the house uh, actually managed to um, clean and sort uh, a quite a big pile of games uh, so then put the games that I didn't have in my collection um, and also put some games uh, aside that I need to trade and look at them and uh, ultimately I think I'm going to be listing some stuff on eBay as well and, and that's probably one of the chores for tonight try to get to eBay and, and you know make a few listings on eBay um, and then uh, about lunchtime or early lunchtime I went back out and I went to town and I visited some of the charity shops that are open on Sunday and I also managed to get a few things out of the charity shops as well uh, but uh, let's have a look uh, what I have managed to get my hands on today 
and uh, see what's what. So first of all, um, the cardboard cell. So as I said, I got three games out of cardboard cell, and that's all, which is pretty poor, but. Uh, Hey, it's, it's better done than nothing. So the three games I picked up, and uh, I paid three pounds, so it's basically uh, a pound a game. Uh, and I picked up WWE 2K17 for PlayStation 3. Uh, I actually got this already in my collection, and I got a spare copy already. But I grabbed this because uh, this still holds value. I think it goes for up to ten pounds retail. Um, so ultimately I'll be using that for my trades, so uh, one pound, you know, if I can turn it in anything more than a fiver, um, that's actually a great return already. Uh, so then I picked up this for uh, Nintendo Wii Sports Island. I believe uh, I got this game already, but uh, this holds a lot of value as well, so hence I picked it up, so I'm going to be using that for trade. Um, and then I got another V game which is Masters Tiger Woods PJ Tour 12. This actually I think retails for about £6 or so, um, which is a bit crazy, thinking it's like a sports game, but obviously it must be, I don't know, either really good or, or, or rarer game. Uh, so, and I didn't have, in, uh, have this in my collection, hence I was um, uh, happy to pay a pound for it. Um, then I went to the one or in, in an early lunchtime. I went to the first charity shop I went to was actually the one that does still that deal um, five media uh, items for one pound. Um, so I actually ended up uh, picking up 13 uh, items between DVDs and games and I paid three pounds. So ultimately worked out a little bit less than 20, pounds, uh, 20 pence per uh, item. Uh, picked up some films and uh, picked these five uh, at the moment to keep for myself. Uh, I'm looking forward to see if I could get around to watch them. Uh, picked up this uh, film called An American in Paris, uh, which is a Warner Brothers release. Uh, I believe it's some sort of like musical. I uh, haven't seen it, it's from uh, 1951, so that kind of caught my eye and I thought, well, I might check it out. So I picked that one up, so that's for myself. Then I picked up this. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, I think it's called The Ghoul, uh, which is the Arrow video, or, or release from Arrow video. Uh, they normally release kind of decent stuff and uh, more kind of uh, rare stuff, independent stuff, so uh, I decided to grab that one and check it out as well. And then I got three Artificial Eye releases, uh, which I'm pretty happy with, because their films uh, or the releases they do are more kind of independent films and like world cinema and stuff and I'm really kind of enjoying uh, watching that kind of uh, stuff. So the first one I got here was The Beat That My Heart Skipped. Uh, then Hidden. And then Lean On Pete. So keeping these for myself. Then I picked up two copies of uh, of a film with Jack Nicholson, As Good As It Gets. Uh, the reason I picked up these two copies, I'm working on a little project at my work and uh, I needed uh, two copies of the same film and also on uh, a DVD format. Uh, so when I seen that they had two copies and ultimately they cost me less than 20, pa 20 pence per copy, I decided to grab these, so these are for my work. And then I picked up these three, four films uh, or releases for trading. Uh, the Beach Boys 1961 to 1973. So this holds a bit of value, so picked up for trading. Uh, Maze Runner, The Death Cure. Um, this holds a little bit of value as well, so picked one, uh, picked this one up as well for trading. Uh, then this here as well, The Desperate Housewives, the complete seventh season. So I'm going to trade off that one, and also The Gruffalo's Child. So here we go, I'm going to trade that as well. Uh, stumbled across a couple empty cases, so got them for free again. Uh, as before, uh, got an empty case from The Incredibles 2 Disc uh, Collector's Edition. Uh, in really good condition, but no discs inside, both discs are missing, so I've got an empty case. And then I also got this Best of Atari, uh, Unreal Tournament uh, 2003. There's actually disc 2 and 3 inside, but the disc 1 is missing, so the game is not complete. 
So I had to treat it as incomplete or empty and they were happy to just uh, give it away. And the case is in really good condition so I'm going to keep that as a spare part for my collection. So if I ever need a spare case, there's a donor or if I ever come across that disc one somewhere then uh, ultimately I will end up with a complete uh, game. And then I picked up some games as well there. Uh, got this uh, for PC, Armed and Dangerous. I actually played this game um, back in the day when it came out, probably about like 2005 or something. Um, and I can't not quite remember whether that was... I think this was released also on original Xbox. I think that's where I played it. Um, I really kind of enjoyed the game. It's not like crazily good game but uh, I enjoyed it and what I really liked about it uh, the characters are quite funny and the kind of old dialogue uh, is, is really funny as well um, so yeah decided to pick this up and I think I, I might be checking it out at some uh, point soon and possibly even just replaying it uh, one thing it didn't have is manual so um, I don't know whether this actually requires a, a, a CD, uh, CD key to activate the game, uh, but if it does, I'm sure I will be able to find a working CD key somewhere online. Now I picked up a Warhammer 40k Fire Warrior. I uh, don't know whether I got this already or not, but grab it anyway. Uh, got a couple Xbox 360 Kinect games. Uh, got Your Shape Fitness Evolved. Uh, I believe I got this already, but it's in a really poor shape, so uh, this is in reasonable condition. So hence I decided to grab it. And then I also got Dance Central. Okay. And then a couple more PC games, or a few more PC games. Picked up a Broken Sword Trilogy. Uh, a game called Chrome. Haven't heard of this at all. Uh, I'm not sure whether it's like first person or third person shooter, but I believe it is shooter of some sort. So that one there originally came out of Game Station. Um, and then I also picked up uh, Never Winter Nights 2, just a base game. So I got that as well. So yeah, that all the DVDs and um, the games, uh, they were three pounds, so which is kind of a, a reasonable deal, even even if there are, isn't really kind of rare titles or anything. Um, then when I was uh, passing uh, one of the charity shops in town, popped in again, uh, checked them out, um, pretty much had the same games they've been having on, or, or, or what they had sitting there for like last two weeks or something. Um, I never kind of properly clocked a couple games there, but something kind of clicked today and it clicked in place and I, I, I suddenly realized that there's something going on and I need to check out these games. It was basically two sports titles I spotted and what really properly this time around caught my eye was that these games actually were from North American region, so they are North American releases. Uh, which ultimately is region free so you can play them on a UK PlayStation. But when I logged them up, uh, I realized that both games hold a little bit of value. Uh, the games were priced at two pounds each and I normally would probably struggle to pay two pounds per uh, sports title. Um, but after realizing that actually they do hold a little bit of value and they are from North American uh, market, I decided that I was actually happy to pay two pounds for them. So, picked up uh, NHL 15, so I paid two pounds, it's actually been through uh, CX um, and you can see here on the bottom it's got the E rating, uh, rated E for everyone, I think that's what it's meant to be, or oh, it's actually E10 plus, um, so yeah it's a North American release so I paid two pounds for that one and this one here actually I think it goes for fetches 10, 10 plus pounds on eBay. Uh, it's MLB 15 The Show, so which is uh, a baseball game. Uh, and that's American release as well. So that was two pounds as well. So um, ultimately was happy to pay two pounds for these two each. 
Uh, then in one of the charity shops uh, the, where I picked up uh, um, these 31 games I showed off in a uh, PlayStation 2 game, 31 PlayStation 2 games I showed off in last video. Um, they had a few other games left there, uh, and these were actually there last Sunday where I was uh, when I was buying the the other games. Uh, but I kind of dismissed them. But today I had a closer look, and it transpired that these two games actually hold a little bit of value. And the reason I didn't buy them last Sunday was because they were missing manuals. And so today, when I realized they actually hold a little bit of value, I thought, well, fair play, I'm going to buy them even if uh, they don't have uh, manuals. Uh, I cannot quite remember. Uh, I believe, actually, that both of these games I don't have in my collection. So they're going to be kept and will be cleaned and win, will, will go in my collection. But the titles are, or the two games I picked up, are Need for Speed Most Wanted, PS2, 99 pence. And also another one for 99 pence, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. So that's the two uh, PS2 games. Then in one of the charity shops I uh, visited, they didn't have anything uh, in anything decent uh, game-wise, but I went to the back to check the book section, and I stumbled across this Roblox character encyclopedia. Um, in really good condition, got a little toy included, uh, not abused, uh, nice, nice, really nice condition. Um, and my girls are uh, currently playing uh, Roblox, they're quite quite mad about it. And it was £3.99, uh, so I decided to get the, this for uh, my girls. Uh, this originally, I think, or the RRP price is £16.99. So I got it for £3.99, so I was pretty happy to buy that for my girls. And then while I was there, I also went past my uh, local CX store and uh, spotted uh, another VU game that I didn't have and uh, was happy to pay, pay the asking price. So I picked up another VU game for my collection and it's Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge. Uh, so here we go, it was £8 so I was happy to pay that. Um, speaking of VU, uh, I think um, if I was to concentrate on any um, particular format, uh, I trust VU will be the first uh, format that I will achieve 100% uh, collection, uh, completed collection, um, and that's probably subconsciously is my, um, my aim to uh, complete my uh, VU collection. Um, because they only got, I think, something like 100, a little bit over 100 games ever released, so it's not a big uh, format per se. So on um, my local um, CX store, uh, quite frequently uh, has some new games coming in for VU. So I'm trying to look for kind of a cheaper deals and, 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 and pick them out. And uh, yes, um, that's work in progress. So VU is probably, um, if I was to concentrate on, or 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 if there was a console I'm, or, or format I'm concentrating on to complete, then that probably is VU at the moment. Everything else I just kind of pick up as as a, as a when I see stuff and uh, as as and when the price is right. Um, but here we go, guys. There you have it. So hopefully uh, a little bit shorter video this time round. And uh, thank you very much for uh, joining me today. And uh, I shall now uh, go and do a bit more work on my game collection, clean more games and uh, sort out some more stuff for uh, my collection and trading. And many thanks for being with me today. And uh, I hope to see you very soon again. Thank you. Take care. All the best.